Yep. Well, I have pretty much finished uh, respraying everything else I needed to spray. So the hood is done. Um, all I'm going to do now is sand everything down tomorrow for little nibs and things that might have uh, marred up. I've done all the leveling. I've done all of the uh, all the work. This will need more work. And you can see <laughs> I butchered the paint on this thing. I got runs. I got a sag there. I got more runs there. This will cure by the well. I'm guessing it will cure by the morning. I'll just sand it down. So just primer. Um, I have gotten both doors done. And mind you, this is just the outer portion. The inner portion, like down in there, oh, I'm gonna sand down, make it nice and presentable, but I'm not gonna do a whole lot with making it glassy, smooth, and perfect. Uh, trunk is done, both fenders are done. Uh, I took the, uh, the body tub outside and sprayed it down. I had maybe a half a cup of, of uh, primer left, so I did a little bit of work on here as well. You can hear my footsteps sticking to the uh, um, the damn, what do you call it, floor here. Got a lot more work to do to, you know, not a whole lot of work to do, but, you know, things to, uh, to, uh, uh, God dang it, prime and hose down. Um, in all, let's see, it's about 7.30 my time here, so in all I've got three and a half hours into all of this much of which is mixing and holding 10 minutes between coats. i got two coats on all of this stuff. Um, once I sand something down and make it ready to go, I'm going to stick it in my basement and uh, keep it nice and safe, away from cats and Roombas and all kinds of the shit like that. Um, let's see, what's next? What else is left? I've got one more Sebring Valence that I'm going to do a different design on. Oh man, I'm tired. I need to get my old valence out of my attic and uh, find out where the holes go on these things. Yeah, because I still intend on using bumpers. Not bumpers. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, bumper overriders rather. Yeah. So that's it for now, and uh, not a not a bad evening spent. And there we go. I am uh, done with the body. It took all of 20 minutes, actually. It wasn't uh, wasn't long. Only tough part was crawling under, crawling under the tub and getting into the uh, engine bay. But that's done. Um, I've got a few variances here, holidays, whatever, whatever you want to call them. I'm not going to worry about it. And they're going to be you know, covered up in engine stuff anyway. The rest of it looks good. All of the uh, all of the dark spots, all the spots I had weld welded through, uh, send it through, are gone. Yeah, not bad. Trunk is done. Everything else is finished. What I do have are these little nibby things. I'll get those when I uh, when I sand this stuff nice and smooth. All of my outer stuff is ready to go. I'll start. Uh, I'll probably start. Well, yeah, I am going to start in on the uh, wet sanding the minor sanding of these bits and they're going to end up in the basement to make room I'll probably do this, you know, I might be able to I might be finished today I could literally start painting tomorrow if I had the time on a Sunday let's see, oh yeah I wanted to show you this this is why you always use a, um, a filter when you paint I've got, I don't know if you can tell too well, but I've got gunk and 
junk and shit and stuff I didn't, um, you know, dissolve well enough as I as I stirred. Yeah, very happy, very happy. All right, so I am done. Well, I'm done. Well, anyway, I'm done. Um, I haven't done the body tub yet, but everything looks like it came up pretty well. Um, odd. Huh. Um, I've even managed to sand this down a little bit. You can see it's still wet from wet sanding. I do like wet sanding. Yep. And... Oh, fuck me. I need to fix that. I'll sand that down before I paint it. All of this is done and ready. Um, I've put the uh, front fenders downstairs to get them out of the way. Louie. Wow. And uh, there it is. That should probably take me another four hours, maybe three hours. Now that I know what I'm doing on distance and time and area and so forth. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, uh, God dang it, the large front fender takes 10 minutes, or maybe 15. 15 each, so, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. That is, so what I'm saying is this won't take me all afternoon. I've got some other dinner plans and things to do, but I'll be able to finish this off tomorrow. And this forces me into the conundrum of what fucking color am I going to make this thing? Red? Yeah, some sort of red, but, you know, I want a dark red. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go sit down, my back hurts.